Okay, we're going to look here at taking limits visually, at trying to figure out what limits are visually. In this first example, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and look to see what the limit of this function is as x approaches 2. So we're trying to get closer and closer, our x value is trying to get closer and closer to 2. So we're going to take the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. Now this is a very easy example. Um, because if we follow the graph along and we make our x get closer and closer to 2, then the limit is just the height that the graph appears to be getting closer and closer to as we move closer and closer to an x value of 2. So one way to think about it is if you look at this vertical line through x equals 2, what height do you expect the graph to be at when it reaches this red dotted line? Okay, and it should be fairly obvious and fairly clear that you would expect the height to be, of the graph to be 6. Okay, so we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 6. Now, if we look back that is also the actual value of the graph there. The value of the graph in this case is the same as the limit. Okay, so also f of 2 is equal to 6. So in that case, they're the same. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next problem or to the next example. That was a fairly simple and straightforward one. We'll scroll down now and we'll look at example 2. Now with example 2, you'll notice, looking at it, the first thing hopefully that you notice is that when x is equal to 2, the graph has a hole. Okay, the graph has a hole. So what we would have to say in this case is there's a hole when x equals 2. So that means f of 2 is undefined. f of 2, another way of saying that, would be f of 2 has no value. And that's because of the hole there. Now the question we're interested in though is the limit. So let's turn this around a little bit and look at what the limit of f of x would be as x approaches 2. So we want our x to get closer and closer to 2 from each side. So follow the line, follow the graph. Again, approach that red vertical line that we drew through 2, approach it from both sides. Now, if you're following this line, what height would you expect to be at when you reach an x value of 2? You can also imagine walking along the line. Okay? If you're walking along that line towards the red vertical line, what height would you expect to be at when you reach the red vertical line? Now the question isn't what height will you be at, it's what height would you expect to be at. And I think that you would agree that as you approach from the left and from the right and as you get closer and closer to the red line that you would expect to be at a height of 6. That's the limit. The limit is the height you expect to be at. Okay, so in this case, the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is 6, even though the function isn't defined or has no value when x is equal to 2. Okay, so in the first example, if we scroll back up here. In the first example, we can see that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to the actual value of the function at 2, both of them were 6, but in the second example the function didn't have a value and even though that was the case, even though the function wasn't defined when x is equal to, the limit as x approaches to still existed. The limit is the height that you expect to be at, not the height that you actually end up at. It's the height that you expect to be at. Okay, we're going to try and squeeze in a couple more. So this is example 3. Again, we're going to try and find the, the limit as x approaches 2. 
and you can see that there are a couple of things going on this time. One of them is, is that there is a hole in the graph. Okay, and the hole is at 2, 6. So that means that point 2, 6 is not a part of this graph. And in fact, what we have this time that's different is this dot. And that tells you that the value of the function, so f of 2, the value of the function when x is equal to 2, that's equal to 3. So this time, the function is defined, but it doesn't follow the line that you would expect. So f of 2 is 3. That's the value of the function. Okay. The value of the function when x is 2. is 3. But again, we're interested in limits here. So, again, the limit means we're going to take the limit as x approaches 2. So, what height would you expect to be at if you're walking along this line? What height would you expect to be at when you reach the red line? The red line is through x equals 2. And again, we've seen this a number of times now. I think you would expect, whether you're walking in from the left or whether you're walking back from the right, I think if you're following this line, you would expect to be at a height of 6. So again, that's how the limit is defined. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 is equal to 6 because that's the height that you would expect to be at. to be at if you followed the line. That's right. If you follow the graph. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. So again, the difference between 2 and 3. In 2, the value wasn't defined at all. The value of the function wasn't defined at all at x equals 2, but the limit existed. And in 3, the, the function does have a specific value at x equals 2. The function is uh, f of 2 is equal to 3, but the limit is the limit still exists, but it's different from the value of the function. Okay, so let's look at question 4. And in the last couple of examples, we took the limit as x approaches 2. This time we're going to look at the limit as x approaches 3. Okay, so let's look at the limit as x approaches 3. Now, this has a couple of things going on. You can see that the graph is divided up into two parts. It's a piecewise defined function. <clears throat> if we look at the part at the bottom of the screen, when x is approaching 3, um, the graph has an empty hole at the point 3, 1. There's a hole at the point 3, 1. But there's a solid dot right here. There's a solid dot right here. Solid dot at, what's that, that's the point 3, 5. And the solid dot tells you the value of the function. So f of 3 is equal to 5. Okay, so that's the value of the function. The solid dot tells you the value of the function. Okay, now again, let's go back and think about limits. So if we think about limits as x approaches 3, we want to get closer and closer to an x value of 3. Okay, so you have to be on the line. You have to be on the line, on the graph, and imagine you're walking towards the red line. You're walking on the graph towards the red line. As you approach the red line from the left here, you would expect to be at a height of 1. 
Okay, so as you walk along this line, you'd expect to be at a height of 1 when you reach the red line. So what we say in that case is the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x. Now, we're approaching 3 from the left-hand side. And to indicate that, we put a little minus on the top right of the 3. So this means we're approaching 3 from the left-hand side. And when that happens, we say we would expect to be at a height of 1. Now, I'm having some trouble here with my surface. It's not registering the the pen mark. So uh, a little bit of a dead point on the a dead zone on the screen. Um, let's imagine that we're walking back along the line from the right hand side. So we're on the right hand side of this vertical line, and we're walking back towards it. In that case, if we're walking back towards the red line from this side, we would expect to be at a five. And we say that's the limit as x approaches 3. Now, to indicate that you're coming from the right-hand side, you use a little plus. Okay. So, as you approach, what we've got written in green here, as you approach from the left-hand side, approach x equals 3 from the left-hand side, the height is 1. As you approach 3 from the right-hand, from the left-hand side, no, I've got that mixed up. As you approach x equals 3 from the left hand side, you'd expect to be at a height of 1. As you approach x equals 3 from the right hand side, you'd expect to be at a height of 5. These are one sided limits. If, as in this case, you approach a, the, the given x value at two different heights, the conclusion is that the limit does not exist. So the one-sided limits, these are the one-sided limits, and they are different from one another. They're not in agreement. In that case, when we're approaching the red line at two different heights, we say the limit as x approaches 3. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 3, we're not using pluses or minuses here because we're talking about the overall limit, not the one sided limit. The limit of f of x, x approaches 3, does not exist. For all you Lindsay Lohan fans out there, you'll know the reference. Okay. So that's where we're going to leave it. We have two more examples to do, but I'll do them on the next video. Hopefully you've got this um, this far. Watch them back. Ask any questions that you have in class. Okay, thank you.